Okay, so we are at Low Lowry Brook. Uh, this is a super cool house on the inside. We, uh, I got here a little while ago. There was another uh, client that was taking a look at it. So uh, the inside is amazing. I just walked in real quick into the, into the, um, into the front door and um, gentleman told me that, I guess he knows a little bit of background on it. The driveway's nice, nice and smooth, no cracks. Um, said it, he thinks that the guy was a designer. Designers. So um, we got a, a French drain in here. So this, and then the French drain in the French drain, we got a little critter in there. So anyway, um, all right. So here's what I think about this house. The number one thing, the exterior, I do not like because you can see these seams, right? They go up and they're like panels, right? So you got like these panels and then you got stuff like that. Like you can see cracks. And so that means water, right? Um, and you can see uh, you can see more um, better on the other side which we'll take a look at the outside unit is from 2016 on the corner right here so it's still relatively new it's got a lot of life left on it uh, but you can see the panels right you can see like these these like four by probably like four by twelve panels or like four by ten panels um, I think that we definitely need to get this thing inspected. Um, my main concern is water getting inside. Um, so let's take a look. So we've got one, one door, two car garage. I'm looking for cracks and things like that. Um, so I don't think this is stucco. Like it looks like stucco, but it's more like paneling with like a little bit of texture on it. So let's just take a look around. Um, the front's got some um, pretty cool landscaping. You got like a gray brick on it. The rest of the houses, you got one that's similar to it over there. Your view is nice. You know, you got a really nice view here. You're kind of up on a hill. All the houses look nice. I like the arches, you know, uh, on the neighbor's houses. You got a lot of cool stuff going on. So let's just take a look here. And you got this monster door. And then you come inside, it's like, whoa. Okay, so we're gonna go and just sweep starting from the right to the left. So we're gonna look, these tiles. Um, these are big like, maybe 16 by 24 tiles. The baseboard, we've got some gaps. And I saw this on the pictures, but you know, we've got some gaps going on here. Um, when you cut a baseboard and you do put them together on joints, you cut, you don't cut them um, straight across. It's not like a cross cut. You cut them diagonally. And, uh, and then you kind of put them together diagonally. It's kind of hard to explain, but so, just take a look around. Really cool looking house. The distance between here and here is a little tight. Like my elbow here, my elbow is touching here. So like elbow to elbow. So that, that is tight for sure. Uh, granite, this is what your granite's gonna look like. Give you an idea. Uh, this looks like um, it's been painted. Yeah, it's been painted. Um, 
I would have liked to see some caulking in between. You can see the sunlight. You can see the sunlight in between those joints. So it would have been good to put the glue. You glue your joints together so that they don't separate. Because the house is going to move a little bit. And so when you get movement, you know, you, you got that glue and that glue turns like super hard. All right, we got some really high ceilings. The island is unusually shaped. It's going this way versus usually kind of going like an L. So it's like a outside of an L, but it lo it does look cool. Pantry. Cool refrigerator. So it looks like all of these window trims are not original, right? You can see it's kind of, I would have sanded that a little bit better. It's a little rough, but it looks good. I like the style. Uh, the windows have this latch where your the window actually, once you open it up, it, you, it comes out this way. So you can clean the, um, so you can clean it. So here's how they did this. You've got a sheet of, you've got some OSB board there and then you got all this cool trim on top of it. It looks nice. Yeah, it's pretty cool. The ceilings are really tall, even in the laundry room. Carpet. Uh, looks like it needs a, a probably a good uh, vacuum, good shampoo, good steam clean. It's not too bad. This is neat. I guess this is the masters. There's a lot of stuff going on here. They just did all kinds of stuff. One up, one down. <laughs> you got one from the side, one from the top. That is neat. Oh yeah. Too cool. So she likes her, her gold and her bronze. It's like a little smart panel. So you got hers, his and hers, right? Okay. Coat closet. And look at how tight the joints are on this thing. It did good. It looks good. A little unfinished up here. 
because it's kind of rough up there. All right, you can kind of see how that looks. It's kind of it's supposed to look like that, I guess. Let's see, they have the lines there from the pencil marks. All right, and we've already looked at this. We've got a little mud action going on here for your closet, for your jackets. When you come in, your electric panel, you've got three knockouts left over if you want to add on to your electrical, build a deck or something outside. Um, whew. They got all the material in here. I love this. Wow. A lot. Water heater. Where's the softener at? Let's see. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they did. It looks like they did a lot of the work themselves. All right. So let's go take a look. Just curious how they did this. Some drywall. There's a lot going on here. <laughs> a lot. You're kind of like, where do I look? They really took some time with this one. Air filter's dirty. You can see inside there. See how it's kind of like bowed up? It can't breathe. This is probably the studio where they do all the designing. Architect. Northeast San Antonio. Ooh, there's no backyard. Too cool. Got that right there. They've done a lot of work on this house. A lot of time, a lot of time into this one. Mm-hmm. All the material, luggage. You've got the glass French doors. You can tell they had a lot of fun with this with this house, you know? Just kind of coming up with their own ideas and styles and practicing their craft. Uh-oh. 
got a closet door. It looks like it fell off. Mm-hmm. Little shelf. Spare bedroom. Storage stuff. So. So there's lights, right? She's got these uh, fluorescent lights on top and on the bottom behind these slats. So one, two, three, four bedrooms. What's over here? Closet storage. Yeah. Just a big storage space. I don't know if you can see up there. Ugh. I think that's it. Yep, that's pretty much it. So, um, style-wise is definitely for sure. It's like totally over the top with style. Those back panels, outside panels are my only concern. So we would just need to make sure, let me see. And then if water was getting in, we would see kind of like some swelling on these baseboards. Cause the, what I'm seeing is on this side of the house, it's got like the biggest gaps on those panels. Um, and since this is covering a lot of it, we can't see the wall itself. The inspector would need to find all that stuff. So let's go and actually let's go in the backyard because I didn't go there. Like you have a lot of privacy, I think, or I feel. These boards are needs to get redone. The fencing looks okay. You've got some pieces over there, um, but you can see how they're still green. That means that I mean they're still a little bit wet on the bottom there, and it's probably because they're in the ground and so that ground is keeping them moist but when it's dried out you'll they should look they'll look brown like this so if i were the owner of this home definitely want to paint that before they start looking like that the roof looks like it's okay i can see some paint chipping on uh the drip edge Oh, the grass is toast. It's Bermuda grass, so all it needs is water. It'll come back, but it's like crispy. Looks like they had something else here too. So like the paneling, right? Like you can't see those panels here too much. Oh, you can see a line right there. You can see that. There's a line right there. We've got a little crack right there. Um, but that's on the outside, so it's not. It's not on the inside. I don't think the foundation is bad or anything. I think. 
think it's just on the outside. All right, so let's wrap this up. We'll go outside, show you the... Anybody waiting for me? We've got, it's like this, there's a little threshold that goes across. It needs to get reinstalled. All right, so. Hmm. All right, so look, this is what I'm talking about. see that you can see it moving these nails right here you can see they put a nail right here and a nail right here this one must have missed and they shouldn't have used nails they should have used screws you see how that looks So the nails pop out kind of actually it's kind of weird because they do pop out by themselves and you've got to go back in there and tap them back in. Um, but my concern is water getting in. Like they're aware because you can see that they did something here and it looks like they did patch it, but look. Bless you. that so um, that's my only thing the inside is like speechless you really don't know what to say there's a lot of stuff going on a lot of art going on in there all right so let's lock up we're done here all done Thank you. So they're doing more houses over there. So you'll have construction going on over there. West, this is where your son's going down at, right here. Here we go. I think it looks really cool. And then you have this other thing over here where you could park at. It looks like you've got like this extra parking. People are already parking there. And your mailbox is right here. So you're going to have a lot of people coming by. The mailbox is right next to you.